we're going to run through a roguelike dungeon this time. This is more spiced up than the last time because in a roguelike, every decision that you take counts on the path to the dungeon boss and to give this AI the background information that it needs because it's a generic AI, we need to prompt it some rules to give us this roguelike experience. This is what I'm going to do and I will go quickly through the two to three most important rules, not to all of them because they are very sophisticated and when you have the app finally released, you will have the templates and you can change and twitch them up a little bit to your likings. It's just to give you an idea what the AI will go through to give us the best experience. So like I said, it's a game engine for a roguelike dungeon following these 19 rules without mentioning them at any time. It's important that it doesn't say, hey, according to rule five, I'm not allowed to do this, for example. And already the first one is very important. Always start with three choices for different level one heroes low on itemization. So this means this roguelike will start with a weak hero and in the end we will be strong enough, level up and be strong enough to hopefully defeat the dungeon boss. And again, I said that when a fight happens, you provide a step-by-step -step encounter. So you have like lots of choices in a fight and this time our goal is to defeat a dungeon boss like you can see here rule number four victory is only possible when the dungeon boss is defeated so the game ends when you either defeat the dungeon boss or you die you die and this is the most important rules for this one the rest we all already went through with elara it's more or less the same where it's just you cannot assume that you're like very powerful and just tell it hey because i'm very powerful and it will not take any decisions for the user it will not give the user lots of hints so like take this path as the safest one this is the first time for me to run through a roguelike dungeon in the in our app and i hope that you're as hyped as i am let's go let's run it down Welcome to the Dungeon's Gate, where three heroes await your command for a perilous journey. Each character has unique skills but lacks equipment, making early choices crucial. Select your avatar to navigate the dungeon's mysteries and confront the ultimate evil within. Epic, so we got the, our choice of three different heroes, and as we can see, we obviously have a fighter or a tank in the center. I think he has a crossbow or something on his, on his back shoulders. So he might not be a tank in the end. We have a girl like a wizard. She has a staff in her hand. And maybe she's the fighter or, or maybe also like a rogue herself. And we can now make our choice. And this is crucial already because it will determine the fate of our roguelike dungeon. We have a warrior mage and a rogue, just like I said, it's perfect. Nice, I will go with her. Let's see how it plays out. You have chosen the rogue. Master of stealth and cunning, your journey begins in a dimly lit corridor of the dungeon where shadows dance along the walls, hinting at unseen dangers. With minimal equipment and relying on your agility, you need to make smart moves to survive and explore. Ahead, a faint whisper echoes. How do you proceed? Wow, this looks dangerous already and she's she's not afraid of the darks. She just entered the dungeon. Yeah, let's see if we can make the right choice here. We can sneak forward to eavesdrop on the distant whisper or search the narrow bay shadows for hidden threats or treasures. I would say as we are a rogue, we can eavesdrop, sneak forward. So let's let's choose this choice and maybe add something like draw our weapon to it. As you carefully draw closer to the source of the whispers, your keen senses tuned to any sign of danger, the soft voices become more audible. They speak of a guarded treasure, but also mention traps. With your weapon ready and step silent, you're close enough to act. Will you continue eavesdropping or will you scout for the mentioned treasure and traps? Nice, so we went down the stairs carefully and we eavesdropped. And they were stupid enough to talk about hidden treasures. So we can maybe take this to our advantage, quietly search for the treasures and identify potential traps. But I'm not as much as interested in the treasure itself as some equipment. So maybe we can find some interesting weapons. Search for the treasure with a focus on health weapons to use. As the dungeon's silent whispers continue, your rogue stealthily explores, focusing keenly on potential traps. The dimly lit corridor hides dangers and rewards alike. 
With each step, you assess not only the path ahead, but also keep an eye out for weapons that could serve a cunning rogue like you. Will you inspect a suspicious alcove that might hide valuable gear, or continue towards the whispering sounds, hoping it leads to the treasure? Interesting, now we're looking for traps because everything could kill us, and now there's the path ahead, there's like a ladder and a dark corridor to the right. And I would say that this is exactly the choice that I wanted to make, like look for gear, look for improving her to the next level. So I will say inspect the suspicious alcove for gear, like choose one. Carefully, you approach the alcove, your senses alert for any hint of danger or opportunity. Inside, you discover not only a set of finely balanced throwing knives perfect for a rogue, but also a cleverly disguised pressure plate that hints at nearby traps. The dungeon seems to be testing your cunning as much as your courage. Will you take the throwing knives and carefully deactivate the trap, or continue your exploration elsewhere, leaving the potential danger unchallenged? That is a good question. So we found a little alcove where there is some equipment stored inside maybe those boxes, and she found some or sees some throwing knives but there's also a pressure plate, meaning like something which you can stand on, then, then it will shoot arrows from the sides of the dungeon walls. So this might be a dangerous, dangerous situation we're in, but we want those throwing knives, right? So I will try. Can we avoid the pressure plate and grab those throwing knives and make our way through the dungeon? You will see in the next episode. So subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Bye bye.